Yo guys, Gamers Book One Sister here. And earlier today, I was thinking, hey, I need a new video. Oh, hey, what should I do? And I'm like, you know what? I had the 3DS for a couple of years. Uh, I had an earlier model, and now I have this model. And I had it for a couple of years. I've learned some things. So I'm going to show you guys five hidden things you may have not known about the 3DS. So, this is starting off with uh, the most simple, and that is the change theme and decorate with badges buttons. The change theme come, came with an update on the 3DS, so, you know, if you get the new 3DS, it should come with this, and you can just change the colors and things like that. But, you know, I'm going to keep it to blue. I have two pre-downloaded themes. Not pre-downloaded, I actually downloaded them myself. Just look, see moves. It ends up being like this. I like this one. It's cool. It has one of my favorite starters on it of all time. There you go. Premiere. Very nice. Very beautiful. Um, okay. We don't need to the zone right now. Um, and uh, Decorate with Badges is from the Nintendo Badge Arcade. You can get free plays on this. I have a video tutorial on how to do that. If you guys want to see it, it's actually doing pretty well right now. It's one of my most viewed videos. Um, and what you can do after getting that, after getting all those food plays, and just to make sure that method works, if you're coming over from that video, and you're like, hey, your method didn't work in the video, uh, that's just because it was that day. Um, but here you go. Just to prove to you guys, I got all of these food plays. I didn't waste any, just not a single penny on any of these badges. So let's say we want this Triforce. There you go. It's hard to see, you know? Let's do the yellow Triforce. There you go, Triforce. There you go. We got the Triforce on there. And that's pretty much one of the simple things. Okay, so this next one is a, another simple feature. And lots of people don't know they can do this. And I'm like, I showed it to my friends. And they're like, really? What? You can actually do that if I had your friend code? And I'm like, yeah. Oh yeah, you can do it. So, um, something just fell. Uh, but, let's just check it all out. And, uh, this is actually pretty good. So. Okay, so you know the friendless guys. So I'm online right now. Kid Fury. Add my code, by the way. If you do like my content and you haven't added it yet, let's be friends. I'll have it down below in the description. Or if you miss it, it's in my channel about page. But yeah. So I have a ton of friends. Uh, just a couple of people I have friends with. Um, okay, but if you have just a couple of friends or a tight group of friends that all know each other, then instead of having your stupid status message, which I just have this one, I don't know why I came up with it real fast. Uh, but instead, you can write things like, Hey, do you have any score today? You want me to write you over to the basketball game or something like that? And that's basically like Pictou Chat, but on the friends list for the 3DS. If you do not know what Pictou Chat was, it's for the original DS, the DS Lite, and the DSi. And that's basically like a chatty system with texting and things like that. So, the next things are going to make it seem hell yeah. Because these next three things are some things that people really never know about. And... I had to dig deep into the 3DS's roots to find out all of these methods and the hidden legends in the system. So, as soon as you get your 3DS, let's say that's a new one, I pretend I don't have all of those games yet, you go into the settings, system settings, open it up, no big deal, right? It's just regular old system settings, parental controls. What are they useful for? I mean, sure, I have a bunch of siblings with me or something like that. My friend always wants to play on my DS, but I never let him. Or her. Uh, but, you know, I figured out this really, really fast. I know, lots of people don't know what to do with this. They are like, why? I, I don't know how to set a password on my 3DS. How on earth are you supposed to do that? Well, it's not going to tell me a password on your 3DS, but it's a password for your 
personal games, your applications, you know, the things that you don't want people to play on your 3DS, like your download and things like that. So, what you're going to go, you're going to go to parental controls. You're going to click software rating. That's in there. Usually, when you get it, it's on none. No restrictions. Just like that. I'm just going to sit down because I was walking around the room. Okay, but it's usually set on none. But, no, that's not going to set a password for you. That's just going to leave all applications free. What you want to do is you want to click past teen, past everyone, turn it up, past everyone to early childhood. That will block off most things except for me and your music and stuff like that. So you're going to click OK. Make sure your pin is private. My pin, I don't really care if you guys figure it out. You click done. You're going to click OK. And you're going to click back. And you're going to click close. Okay? Whoops. Okay. My camera's shaking. Okay. Get out you learn that. And you put set all that up. If you has to boot up. Okay. So now. Let's say I want to play this game. Ooh, Kutar? I can't play Kutar. There's a pin? I don't know the pin. Uh, I want to play Fantasy Pirates. Pin? From the worlds? Pin? Ooh, Pokemon Sun. I would love to play Pokemon Sun. Pin? And everything set with the pin, except for Meat Maker, 3D Sound, uh, the eShop, uh, and Nintendo Zone, but that's been discontinued. The only way they can figure out how to change this is if they figure out your code and go to the system settings and reset everything on the sub. And yeah, so the next thing a lot, and I mean a lot of you guys do not know about, and this is something that I find really cool in the 3DS, and it's one of its hidden gems. So, 3DS sound, open it up. Well, what's so special about it? I mean, it's just a place where you can record all your sounds, what you scream into the microphone. Well. Not necessarily. What you can do instead of that is that you can download music. If you guys want me to do a tutorial on this and the next thing coming up, just comment down below and if this video can hit five likes. No, not five. We, they see it, guys, for 61 subscribers. Uh, because five is too low. We, we have such a big number of subs. So we're going to go for ten. Let's see if we can hit that. Let's see if we can hit that. But you guys can... You guys... See, I have tons of songs on it. Let's play something that I won't get copyrighted for. Glitch City. Uh, this is by Glitch City, so let's just play this. So, you guys see, that works perfectly fine. You can play music on it, everything like that. So, now that we figured that out, you can do that and everything. Let's get into the complicated part. Now, at this part, uh, this is definitely needs a tutorial if you do not know how to do this. Uh, again, 10 likes, we get both of these tutorial videos. Or if you just want one of these, comment down below and I'll teach you guys how to do a tutorial video. But how you guys wanted to watch YouTube videos on the go, no internet, no app, nothing. Well, if that's the case, I have some, uh, you don't need that, no. You can download videos. So this one's by A-Drive. Um, you guys can see him right there. Uh, and uh, this one's on the sleeve. Uh, you guys can see them jumping up uh, and things like that. And you can actually watch these. And I'm just going to play the list of these real quick. So here we go. There you go, guys. You can easily hear it. It's not the best uh, pictures, graphics, but also not the worst. And these are just some hidden gems that I found within the 3DS and things that you can do that lots of you guys probably didn't think about and didn't know about. Um, but that's it for today's video. Uh, tell me guys, what is your favorite hidden gem in the 3DS out of all of these five? If you have one that you think I forgot, comment down below and uh, maybe send me a video like I want to see how you guys do it. And maybe I'll make a part two if it gets requested. Um, but yeah, don't forget to subscribe. If you're new, like this video. If you liked it, dislike if you disliked it. Uh, comment down below what you guys want, what you guys don't want. You can add my friend code down below in the description.
And yeah, so that's basically it. Yeah guys, game is focus control.